curly dimples live and in the flesh. I'm okay. Let's do a video. I just wanted to come on here really fast because a lot of my friends ask me, oh my god, Cass, why do you protective style so much? They don't say it just like that. But that's because they don't know all of the terminology. So they would ask, why do you keep your hair in braids? Or why do you always keep it in a bun? And I just want to shed some light. What is the importance of protective styling, protective hairstyles? And I feel as though protecting your natural hair is the number one ingredient to having healthy hair. The number one ingredient for length retention. If that's something that you're looking for, if you're looking for, you know, healthy hair, thick hair, you know, very, very moisturized hair, the first thing you have to do, or the first step before any other one, is you have to learn how to protect your hair. You have to listen to your hair. What does that even mean? Well, if you notice that your hair is often very dry, or sometimes you can't really seem to keep moisture in, even like in some situations, you just feel like it's not growing or it's not retaining length, meaning like it's staying at shoulder length and you can't seem to get it to pass that. Well, what I would suggest is you protective style. Now, protective styling can come in an array of different styles, shapes, fashion, colors, like literally. But the essential part of it, or the essential meaning behind protective hairstyling, is mainly protecting your hair. Keeping it as hidden or away from the elements as much as possible. So, I usually keep it in buns, or I like crochet braids because you put your hair in like braids all the way back so your hair is completely tucked away completely protected braids are really nice too I find that if you if I come closer you can tell like um, some of my braids my hair the black is coming out of the braids and that's because it's getting stale or it's getting old so if you notice like my natural hair is coming out I don't know how to make that focus there and you can tell like you know that they're a little old different types of protective styling you can keep it in for a longer period of time it all depends on what you have installed but for versatility you have so many options and this is just one of them that is basically one of the reasons why I keep my hair as protected as possible one of the reasons why I always try to maintain different protective hairstyles because it's very essential to the whole natural hair process I feel like it is really at the footstone of what it means to be unnatural so a lot of people are like well why can't I enjoy my hair especially me my hair is like really you know mid back like lower back like it's really really pretty and it's really really long and my friends like oh my god I never knew you had so much hair and to be honest me too <laughs> like I had no idea I mean I know it's getting up there but I had no idea it was that long and that's because I seldom blow it out i seldom like put add heat to it it's not in my regimen and that's because it's damaging it goes against all things protective and it comes of natural hair so use precaution when you're doing things not saying protective styling is the absolute way to go but to protective style effectively is the way to go if you do protective styles where the roots are too tight is it really that effective especially for your edges i don't think so if you do protective styling that isn't really that protective or if you do protective styling for one one or two days if you do something that requires a lot of you know tedious nature like this like you're braiding you're pulling you're doing this and you keep it in for a week is it really a protective style well, the idea of protective styling is that you keep your hands out of your hair for as long as you possibly can you keep it low in terms of manipulation because manipulation leads to breakage extra shedding unnecessary shedding and these are all things that go against the greater good of your hair or the health of your hair so I hope this answers your question about why I keep my hair in protective hairstyles and I thought this was the perfect time to do it because my hair is currently in a natural hair protective style. So I encourage everyone to do the same. This year actually I did a challenge where I am keeping my hair in protective style for an entire year to see if I can get to tailbone length. I'm trying my hardest to do that, but I'm so excited. The process is fun. I get to change it up, get to add a little color, 
here, there, and everywhere. I encourage you guys to get on the wagon too. Get a protective style that works for you, that is low on manipulation, and that you can keep in for an extended period of time. You will see a change, you will see an improvement in your hair. You will definitely see an improvement and a change in the health of your hair. And at the end of the day, that is really what is important, you know? And the perk is that you get to keep some length along the way, you get to retain some length along the way. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope this answers your question. Please comment down below what is your favorite protective hairstyle? What is your absolute favorite one? It can be as simple as buns. It can be as simple as, you know, locks. That's something that is a protective style. I know some people unravel theirs. Let me know if you've done that. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation, you and me. Thank you for watching. Please share it with your girlfriends. If they are struggling with their natural hair, the health of it, please share it. It would make me really happy if you do that. Or please like this video. If you like this video, please comment. Please subscribe to my channel where I do all things story times and natural hair stuff <laughs> and all in between. So thank you for watching. Toodles.